good morning to all my awesome friends and family. Just thought I'd share with you my recent shopping trip to Dollar Tree. As you can see, I really have a problem with shopping. Oh well, even though everything was a dollar and a quarter, it still adds up over time. I got this beautiful wish upon a starfish and this one with a little crab on it and these beautiful glass ones aren't they beautiful the only thing I'm sad about is the tops of them are not glass they're plastic but they are beautiful and I thought they would look nice on a display on the table very coastal don't you think? And then my daughter has a lake house up at Lake Isabella. So here I have a, another container that says Lake Life. Thought it would look super cute at her little place. I'll set a flower arrangement in it and see how it works out. Well, what did you think about what I bought? Even though I didn't spend a lot for any one item, st spent a lot considering everything. But this one probably is one of my favorites. Wish Upon a Starfish. Sounds so cute and there's the starfishes there too. Well, tell me which one was your favorite. Of course, I always love the beautiful centerpieces. I have some just like it, but the ones I bought about six months ago actually have glass tops on them, toppers on them, and they're so pretty, and I can't believe they were only a dollar and a quarter each. A great buy. Well, here's some more things that I picked up, and let's start in the center and work our way out. Life is better at the lake. I thought that would go perfect with the centerpiece. And here is another beautiful container. This one has a seahorse on it. Thought it looked great for a coastal look. I even found some seahorses that I can use on something. Thought that was super cute too. And then look at these beautiful accessories. Aren't they going to be beautiful? Here's some more starfish really couldn't believe how pretty that was dollar and a quarter this one over here has the little wheels that you see on ships another dollar and a quarter and this is the third one showing the little sailing ship i can't wait to put these together and make a beautiful display now i don't know how I'm going to use these, but they'll be in a display. Dollar and a quarter for this too. And I had a pair of them for each side. And then I sort of like the little piece of rope that came with this. It looked really nautical, doesn't it? And then I found these napkin rings and they look like they would be great for a coastal look or maybe something for the river or something farmhouse. What do you think? I think there's a lot of choices with these napkin rings. I thought I got some great buys and can you believe all the things I found? Well, now I don't know for sure about the rope balls, if they're new or not, but I don't remember seeing them. I might see how they fit with my herb pots from Mackenzie Childs. I don't know, they may be too small or they may just fit perfectly. I don't know yet. But I know I can make a centerpiece out of this one with the little seahorse on it. Doesn't it go good? And those little rope balls will look really nice on each side. What do you think? Well, what do you think? Just to sort of give you an idea what I'm talking about and we'll put some beautiful flowers in there and go scatter some shells around the base of this. I think it'll look pretty nice. What do you think? 
Give me some comments and let me know. Then we have this beautiful Life is Better at the Lake. And we can use these napkin rings and I think it'll go nice. And of course, I had that one container. You know, we just think about different things we can use and put together. I think this has been a pretty good shopping trip so far. Let's see what other things Grandma got. Here's some more little things that I picked up this time at Dollar Tree. Because my daughter does some cute little displays from time to time, I thought I would share them with you. I love butterflies and dragonflies, and I thought I would use these stamps for a little project. I don't know yet, but it was only a dollar and a quarter, and I thought I could handle the expense. I'm going to be joining in on a butterfly challenge on Monday, so I went ahead and bought some little butterflies. So they'll be used for that. These I thought would be great for scrapbooking or some project with DIY, something that I don't have to spend a lot of time and effort to put together, but still will look very good quality. I should have bought two or three of these, but I bought one. This one is also for scrapbooking, I think. I'm thinking of other ways to branch out on my channel to make things look really nice. And I think these things will look great. Then, this is for my butterfly challenge. I bought two packages of these. And they have some beautiful colored butterflies, as you can see. Aren't they beautiful? I especially love the purple one here at the bottom. And I bought another set over here. So I have eight butterflies to choose from. What do you think? And they have a 3D appearance of them. Don't they look great? And you know, I didn't spend a lot of money, but it really looks nice. That's the whole thing about Dollar Tree. You look around and think of what you can do with these items. We're all doing a little bit less shopping and things have to go a little further. I think it turned out pretty nice. What do you think? So far, what have you liked the best? Well, here it is, some more boxes of seeds from Dollar Tree. I bought a package of Impatience, and they come in different colors and shades. I want to make sure I have plenty of flowers all around my property. Lots of things for the butterflies and bees to land on. And they're only a dollar and a quarter, so it really doesn't matter how many of them germinate, there'll be enough to have something around the garden. And of course, the wild flower blend is the best. It's for the birds and the butterflies. Doesn't that sound wonderful? It does to me at least. And then marigolds help to keep the bugs at bay, hopefully. You know, I like doing things in natural way. So let me know what you thought. I don't know if any of you buy these, these boxes of seeds. I know I buy them every year. They're worth the money and they're worth what you pay. It's only a dollar and a quarter. Even if you just get a few plants, you've saved quite a bit. Because when you go to the nursery, you're spending a lot of money and you're not getting much for your money. So. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Thank you for all your support. And if you enjoyed the video, please give me, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it so much. And if you're not following, please think about it. We really enjoy having you stop by. And we really need your love and support for this channel. Well, I think with these seeds, once I put them down, there's a chance that I'm going to have some really pretty flowers in my garden. So let's just pray. I haven't waited too long. It's getting pretty hot here. And let's pray these seeds have a chance to germinate. Well, hugs and kisses to all my awesome friends. Thank you so much for all your love and support. We really do appreciate it so much.